is going to be an emotional one. Yeah, it's um, to be honest though, it's been an emotional few months. To be fair, you know, we've kind of known this was, I suppose, going to be the inevitability and the outcome of the strategic review, and so we've had time to get our heads around it. And I've certainly kind of managed to come to terms with it a little bit, but it's it's no least very sad, I think, um, moment. Particularly, I think maybe for the sport as a whole, but certainly for our team. You know, Williams has contributed so much to Formula One over the more than four decades that we've been in it and we've had the most amazing incredible time even the low times of you know we've always loved being in this sport just for the pure joy of it so it is an emotional weekend for us but it also feels the right time for us as well all good things as they say have to come to an end and we're just going to enjoy this last race weekend that we have and wish our team well as they move on to a new chapter in their history I know that you've always been very keen to continue your father's legacy and what he created in this sport, but I want to take a moment and look at your legacy in the sport and what that will be, because I think with the Concord Agreement now agreed and signed a better distribution of wealth, independent teams having the strength that they have now, that is something you have always pushed for. You have never given up on that from day one. How proud are you that despite the fact you're walking away, you do so having had such a massive influence on the way this sport will, will, will tread in the future and that teams like Williams will be able to prosper under a new way that you helped shape. Well, it's very kind of you to say that, but obviously there are a lot of people that have been involved in championing you know, the same position that we've always taken. I think certainly one of the reasons why we might find our, have found ourselves in this position is because of the disparity and the financial um, model that we've had since the last Concord agreement. There are a number of other factors as well and don't get me wrong, certainly some of those have been our making. But um, I'm very proud of the fact that we are leaving when the sport is now going to be in a whole lot better shape, certainly for teams like ours. Um, you know, sport should always start from a level playing field and we haven't necessarily have that for whatever reasons and there's, there's no blame, I'm not apportioning blame, but I do feel very proud of the fact that from 2021 and beyond, thanks to the lobbying that we've done, the work that a lot of other people have put um, into this, that Formula One is going to be in much better shape and does have a much more sustainable future, certainly for teams, as I said, like ours, and that can only be a good thing. And I, I know that Williams is looking forward to capitalising on those changing regulations. You've been a part of this for every day that I can remember being in, in a paddock from when you were press officer all the way through to today. What on earth are you going to do with your weekends <laughs> from now on? It's not just my weekends, it's my life. You know, um, I've grown up in this sport and again, I feel enormously privileged to have, to have done that. This has been the, one, the most wonderful life. You know, Formula One can be challenging and it can be tough, but I will go away always pinching myself that I grew up as a Williams, that I was given the privilege of running this team for the seven years that I have and I will miss it. I will miss it extraordinarily. I've been defined by this team for my 44 years in this world and but also I understand that there's a, another world out there. That's what people tell me and I'm looking forward to experiencing what life holds outside of Formula One and, and not being Claire Williams, maybe being Mrs. Harris for a change and being a wife and being a mum. I've missed so much time at home and just to be at home at the weekends. I will still tune in, I will still be watching, but I can do it from the comfort of my sofa. We will miss you. Thanks, Claire. Thank you.